Hey guys, it's Wolf Year One Nilly, and welcome to Helix Horizon. Now, this game can be found on Google Play. I'm going to be playing for like probably 10 minutes at least, uh, showing you guys around. This game is fairly straightforward with its combat. I do like its like sort of like style. It is kind of like an, I think it's recent game, I believe. I've been playing it for like uh, probably two weeks now. You guys know I've been just playing the games instead instead of like waiting it off and just doing like a actual first gameplay this would probably just force us into straight gameplay instead of going through the tutorial which tutorials are pretty limiting and take up a lot of time yes. but yeah the story is actually pretty interesting somewhat but yeah the combat is actually pretty straightforward pretty much your characters keep going straight and <laughs> it's pretty much somewhat of an auto battle game but there is not any like auto skill so you can't really just full on just auto the game. But there is like level skips, sort of like skip tickets. And also, there's kind of a different mechanic to it. If you push your enemy off like off screen here, that's an automatic death. If they push you off screen over here, that's an automatic death for your unit. The game is kind of difficult if you don't uh, upgrade your characters wisely. A lot of the characters have some pretty weird skills which makes some of the rares pretty strong and the thing is you can't use uncommons or common cards as uh, units it's only rare enough you can use as actual units all right i'm about to hit him off yeah see that's pretty much like an auto death they pretty much retreat there are a lot get a lot of different effects i'll show you guys some of my uh characters now that i Kind of showed you guys the play style of it. Uh, all right, here are my characters. Oh, that is not my character. Characters. There we go. I got lucky off my two um, free ten summons. So the, when you first start off the game, you get a free um, ten summon. So you get a pretty much uh, SR and up for free when you first start the game. Which is really nice of them to do. Not many games do that, which really suck. And I got lucky off both of mine and got these two characters. For some reason, I got two free 10 summons. If that is actually supposed to happen, then yeah. I was actually pretty lucky and got two URs. Yeah, I got some really decent um, Rs. Let's just say even our rare character is going to be really useful, but you do want to aim for SR and up. Even the SRs aren't as good as most of the R ranks, I can say that. Like this character, he's, he's not good until like late game, in my personal opinion, until he gets like this skill where he doesn't get knocked back. Because it's all about how much ground you want to keep and keep your enemies from pushing you off the map as well. Because there is, like, knockback. Like, this is how much balance you have for when enemies hit you. If an enemy probably has, like, an S rank knockback, and you probably just have, like, a C rank balance, you're probably going to get knocked back, like, pretty far. But I have an A knockback, so I'm going to be hitting enemies pretty decent distance back. So, yeah, that's pretty good. If she was to get hit by, I'm pretty sure she would literally just fall off the map and that'll just be it which really does suck the reason i'm still using aaron is just because he has some pretty good balance so you know he's not gonna really go anywhere and plus his skill does pretty much block like pretty much block any incoming damage but i've noticed that some range attacks to get through him and it hits some of the characters that are behind behind him which really does suck and he stays stationary as well which really does not help him. And you're, if you have like a pretty much, let's say a melee unit that has a sword pretty much like melees instead of tank, they will run right past him instead of staying behind him where it's safe. And that's kind of where she kind of fails a little bit. So I got to find a better tank. Let's just say that. Eh. I'm still looking for one, but I do have enough for a summon, which is something I wanted to save up for this video as well, just to show you guys the summon, and let's 
hopefully potentially get something good. I don't think we did, but, you know, eh, you can always hope. Alright, so I didn't get lucky. I got a lot of duplicates, though, that I can uh, put into some characters. So it's actually pretty straightforward. You just go in here and push evolve. If you have like a copy of a character, then they get a star. The max stars you can have is pretty much a uh, five star. And this is what a five star looks like. It's just pretty much that little magnificent star there. And plus they shine once they get max, I think. Yeah, they do. So yeah, this game is actually pretty low as well, so it's not like full-on populated just yet, but I think there are multiple servers, so I could be on a different server. And plus it changes by what afternoon it is. I'm pretty sure it just hit afternoon too. Yeah, it is. It just hit like 3 p.m., so it's afternoon now for the game. That's actually pretty cool. I never noticed that until now. Uh, there is Arena 2. Arena is kind of the same thing as the gameplay. Just pretty much not get knocked out, but I already used all my arena tickets. Uh, I do have enough to um, actually get one match, so I'm going to show you guys that instead. Let's do that. Ooh, this one could be quite a challenge. Maybe. So each character has their own different skills. Um, this one is my healer slash damage dealer, which is pretty much a mage. I'm gonna tank them and thank them for coming back. She's gonna nuke them. She, oh god, she could be dead too. Alright, let's try and kill her before she does die. Alright, she got through, but she could also be dead. Oh no, she lived. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you what they what I mean by some of these characters have some weird skills and why some R's are way better than the SRs right now, or the URs. It really depends on what skill they have. Like this one, this one, she has a skill that shoots eight arrows, and they're pretty decent, but at the same time, they're it's kind of not enough damage on certain units. But that's where she has a poison chance as she goes on, and she has bonus poison chance that does not stack, which really does suck. If it did stack, she would become, like, extremely powerful. And I don't know if Poison does, like, max HP. I don't really think it does. I have not noticed it. If it scales off HP, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Pretty sure it's just, like, a base damage. And then I have this Mage, which is a healer for some reason. Yeah, the Mage symbol right there, and this one is the Priest symbol. Yeah, she's a mage that heals one target with the lowest HP. But she also has like a little talent here that changes the heal also into an attack. Which means she heals the lowest HP unit and she also deals damage to a different unit. It keeps going on and on. Yeah, some of these characters are like really weird. Yeah, I already showed you his. And this is also a priest that also does damage as well. But she hits all closest units to the person that's healed, I believe. I just noticed it being like damaging to front units. I don't know about units in the back. But I can also get her to 5 star. She's 5 star now. Now I don't know what to do with the last one I have. It, it just sits there, I guess. But she's actually pretty decent. I have thought about just using her but nah at the moment i'm kind of enjoying the healer i have i'll change her out later but you also can put equipment on them and you also have to keep all your equipment leveled up so pretty much there is no like i guess um higher difficulty than this actual main quest the only different difficulty there is is gear that's it there's only main quest and gears so, uh, huh, how can I say this? Let's just say gear is sort of like elite stage. So I, let's say if I'm not done with um, 8 on main story, I can't go any further. 
So I had to finish chapter 8 to finish chapter 8 on gear. If that made sense. I don't think it did for you guys, but you guys will get it if we actually think hard enough. <laughs> but I gotta say, the game is actually pretty enjoyable. They do give you quite a bit of milestones when you first play the game. Uh, there's a first purchase, I believe. At least I think so. Not really sure. I think I missed this. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy that. That's too many diamonds. There's a rookie camp where as you level up you get rewards and at the end you get um, a UR at level 30. Which is actually, she's not half bad. So you guys are already seeing me use her. She's actually pretty decent. And then there is a leap breakthrough where you just pretty much, uh, pretty much go through the whole story and getting like pretty much all stars and then there's logger rewards as well no oh, I haven't been playing this for a week then hmm I guess I've only been playing this for three days wait hold up how have I only been playing this for three days huh interesting Ah, okay, now that I think about it, yeah. I have almost been playing this for three days. My bad, my misleading. <laughs> but there also are different ways to, like, join guilds, have friends, and there's also, you can look at your armor and recycle it for the little enhancement, like, materials. Yeah, I have way too many materials that I have to use. I'm actually working on her right now. I need to like level her up. She kind of needs it like really bad because she takes so much damage. It's kind of insane, but she did out some really good damage. Um, her skill is pretty much, yeah, she charges up the skill. That's one downfall of her. She has to charge up her skill. And then she just lets loose a whole bunch of damage, knocking them up. I never noticed the knock up, to be honest. I know. I normally notice that she knocks them back. And plus she gets extra attack when her HP lowers. And plus she also gets damage over time on her like normal attacks, which is actually pretty nice, you know, doing fire damage over time. Along with poison over time. So Yeah, she also becomes a real good tank as well. I just gotta get her up, up to that. And I can't go past my level as well. You can't level them up past your character level. It's also pretty difficult later on to get past these levels. So you guys have to keep your gears up to date. Because it becomes so troublesome to actually tank damage. So you gotta get better units. You gotta keep trying to make a good team. And don't underestimate all the, like... Our ranks they're they're pretty decent uh, let me go ahead and start healing and they should be dead all right now I'll, that's pretty much it I'm pretty sure this was the gear stage too right boom I got gear materials I can keep going back and forth doing those uh, make sure your characters gears are up to date because you don't want them to like fall off on like being able to tank hits or you know pretty much survive combat yes. <laughs> yeah god knows I had that issue but when it comes to gear you only have like one battle when it comes to main quest you have two waves that you have to go through which can be pretty annoying really depends on like the enemies if anything I recommend carrying one character that can actually heal because because healing is definitely a thing you need in this game because these guys hurt as you can see they're they are really hurting even if i had another damage dealer yeah i don't think really don't think that would be like <laughs> making it through here without any deaths i just finished the last stage on that so yeah i'm gonna end it here um Hope you guys try out the game yourself. It is, like, pretty interesting. I don't know if you guys are going to enjoy the story, but you'll probably enjoy the gameplay, if anything. 
Let me grab this. And make sure to do all your rookie stuff just to get all those bonus rewards and everything. I do recommend saving up a thousand before one of these uh, little quests that go away because you have to buy this thing before it expires. And I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. It's the little uh, level purchase thing. Each time you level up, you get like, well, not each time you level up. Each time you reach to a certain level, you get a certain amount of like diamonds. Let's say if I was level 20, I would get a thousand diamonds. If I was level 30, I would get like a thousand and two hundred. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. It's pretty much like one of those like milestone things that you have to purchase before it's gone. So you have to save up a thousand just to get that. And I missed it because I didn't have a two thousand by the end of the time it disappeared. So yeah, warning you guys there. Make sure to save up everything you get from the story. And I believe once you get to at least let's say chapter 9 you should have enough for it well let's say chapter 8 if you at least get to chapter 8 I'm pretty sure you'll have like at least 2,000 by then if not you can at least do these quests and everything the dailies and somewhat they'll probably get you there or these logins will probably get you there so yeah hope you all enjoyed I'll see you guys next time on the next video till then peace out